and welcome back to my channel. This is Didsbury Art Studio and I'm Sally. And if you haven't been around here before and you're new to me, I'm new to you, then please consider subscribing if you enjoy this video today for more content similar to the one today. All right then, so what we're gonna do, if you remember from the last video that I did, I did some drawings and paintings and what I want to do today is translate those into three different samples. So I'm gonna be using brusho dies, hand stitching and machine stitching. So let's get into it. So I'm gonna take a little section right here in the middle of an area that I like the look of. So I've been moving this viewfinder around but I'm quite liking this little section here so I'm just gonna tape that on. I'm going to work on this small piece of fabric this was an old bed sheet and I'm going to use the brusho dies to get some colour on here first. Got all the colours out because I'm looking at loads of colours in that little area there. I'm going to paint on the colours. So this is the next one that I'm going to do. And so I've got another piece of cotton fabric and I've got my brusho dies over here. For this last one, this is the little section that I'm going to do. For this first piece, this was the fabric that I dyed yesterday and I am going to be using the sewing machine to do this first technique. All right then, let's go. What I want to try to achieve, a kind of gathered effect with the fabric. So over here, I am going to sew loads of just straight stitch lines that I can pull the threads and start gathering in the fabric. I've threaded up navy thread and I've got the top dial on zero and I've got the stitch length on longest stitch number five. Here we go, I'm just going to drop the presser foot, switch on the machine and for the first bit I'm just going to do a diagonal. Leave yourself some thread that we can pull and gather the fabric in. So don't cut it right up to the edge of the fabric, leave a long length. And then, well, you can't really see it, but over here, there's kind of like a wavy line coming down here. So I'm gonna go for that idea. And then, hey, and then I'm looking over here in this top corner, I'm going to do a similar one over here. I'm just going to do a few more. Here she comes. Hi. Hey, Smooch. Hello. She always comes in from outside, just like really meowy. Don't you? Hi. Right, sorry, always getting distracted, aren't I? So, this is what I've got so far. 
You can't be hungry again. That's where we're up to. Do we need more? Yes, we do. There's quite a few sort of shapes in this top left corner, so I'm gonna do a few more stitch lengths. When you've got big areas of space, then when you pull the threads, you're going to have big gathered sections. So if you want that effect, leave big spaces. But if you want to have smaller gathered effect, put more stitches in. So again, I'm going to put another one. That's the amount of stitching I've put onto it. You can see that the stitches are really quite large in length and we're going to be pulling these threads in a second. Hey, are you trying to eat the tripod? Hi. Now I'm going to pull the threads. So now I'm going to pull the threads. So here we go. What's going to happen is the fabric's going to gather in and I'm gently going to just pull the threads and the fabric along. stroke. We're just going to stand all over the work. Just going to sit on it then. She's got to a bed. Continuing to pull the threads. If you find it stops on one side, just pop over to the other side, grab the two threads, and you can just divide those up. finished pulling all the threads that I want to and it's completely up to you whether you leave these threads dangling down. I've always been of the opinion that I like the dangly threads and a bit of the frayed edge look and um, because that's how I want my sample to be. The little sample is this little impression over here. it's all gathered and pulled in. So for this second sample this is the one I'm going to do and I'm just going to draw out some wavy lines on here and I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. So I'm just drawing on with a chalk pencil I've got. So all you do next is you decide which way around you want it to go. Obviously for me, this is my top, but I want my wavy lines to go vertically. So for me, it's just easier to start on the right hand side over here. Just pulling the threads and gathering the fabric in.
So this sample is not that dissimilar to the first sample, but obviously this one has been done with hand stitch and the other one's been done with the machine, but you also get slightly different effect with this. So let me show you closer. So the kind of swirly S shapes that I was doing there, the wavy shapes, has also helped to distort the fabric. So I was just playing around with getting some more flatter areas and then a little bit of the gathering up at the top there. Like so. And this is the last one I've chosen. I just like that little composition. I'm just liking the colours. So I'm just adding a one inch grid. Drawing on the lattice smocking pattern. And this is my front side, this is the side that I want. However, with the lattice smocking, we are going to be achieving the back. If you've seen that video that I've done before, it's the rough side that I'm interested in. That is the actual design that needs to be drawn out on a one inch grid. And I'll show you how to start sewing this. Now I've decided to use green thread because I think it will blend the best for me. To do the lattice smocking, we take a tiny little stitch like so. Make sure you're not strong enough. Tiny little stitch over here. Pull in your fabric and add another little knot in there. I might just go through once again just to secure it. Like so. Might as well do another knot. Whoopsie daisy. And then we're going to head down to this next diagonal here. So I'm going to take a tiny little stitch. Get your finger on there just to keep it in place. Tiny little stitch. I'm just going to run my needle through to make a and not there, little loop. And in fact, I'm going to go through once again. And then over to the other corner. This down a bit. And then you're going to pull the fabric in again. Tiny little stitch. And you just repeat that sequence. So we drop down, tiny little stitch, and then over to the corner, and match those up. Just loosen that off a bit. And I'm going to do the whole of this row. That's one row done. Actually, I'll show you what the other side looks like too. Right, anyway, 
I'm going to crack on and get most of these done. So there we go, I've just finished the lattice smocking. If you know from my video before on lattice smocking, this is actually the back and lattice smocking is the front there. When I'm looking at this piece, I'm looking at some of the shapes in there, raw texture, and I'm thinking that this works. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video today and if you did please give me a like and don't forget to subscribe if you're new today and also let me know in the comments if you like this sort of content and I can do more videos like this too. Alright then, hope you have a really good week and I'll see you very soon. Bye in the next video.